Hey guys, it's me again, Isaiah. And as you all know, YouTube Fan Fest is near. And there are so many aspiring YouTubers coming up, especially here in the Philippines. When I started YouTubing a few years ago, there weren't that many YouTubers here in the Philippines. But starting this year, there are so many popping up, so many want to collaborate left and right, that it's actually really amazing and it's really inspiring to continue doing this. So this video that I'm making right now is meant to give you aspiring YouTubers tips and tricks and things that you gotta do in order to start YouTubing. Again, as I mentioned before, Andre, my brother, who I usually make videos with, is in the US right now. And so for this video, I am going to be an Antonio Uno. All right, let's get started. Here are the things that you need to know and you need to do in order to become a YouTuber. Step one, the equipment. Get yourselves a camera. This is common sense, guys. You cannot make a video without a camera. Well, you can make a video without a camera if you're doing a full 3D CGI video. But that's kind of like Deadpool. If you can do that, better go to Hollywood. Whether it be an ordinary SLR camera or one of those gigantic cameras they use in Hollywood, the one with the crane, or a GoPro if you're an adventurer, or you can even use your phone's camera. There are a lot of camera phones out there that are really nice that rival some digital cameras. As long as your videos have great content, people will watch them. We've seen so many videos go viral and they look like they've been taken by these old phones, right? But people watch them because they get entertained, makes them laugh, or just makes them feel some sort of emotion, like makes them cry, <laughs> makes them cry. <laughs> Who cries in a video, right? <laughs> I don't cry in a video. <laughs> Except if it's Toy Story 3. If that didn't make you cry, then you're a monster. Alright, now that you have your equipment, it's time for step two. Step two is you gotta decide what kind of YouTuber you wanna be, what kind of channel do you wanna have. Do you wanna be a makeup artist tutorial YouTuber? If so, are you sure? Do you want to be a gamer? Do you want to be a comedian? Do you want to be an actor that does um, dramatic videos? My suggestion, guys, is just do whatever you love. If that's what you do, in the long run, you won't feel like it's work and you're just going to feel like, oh, I'm doing such a nice job. I love what I'm doing. Every time I make a video, it's like I'm just doing something that I love. I'm not getting tired. Well, you will get really tired even if you're doing something you love. It's just that it's going to be really worth it. You have to decide this because when people go to a channel, they subscribe because they know the content is something that they like. And the specific kind of videos that you upload is something that they like. Now if your videos are all different, like my channel, then people won't know why they're subscribing. They're gonna be confused like, okay, so is this guy uploading this thing or is he uploading something I don't like? Is he uploading something that I like? And they won't see a reason to subscribe. Okay, now that you have the equipment you need and you know what kind of YouTuber you want to be and what kind of channel you want to have, it's time for you to learn the skills you need to become a YouTuber. And lucky for you, I have them listed right here. This is all the skills you need to become a YouTuber, so better start right now. Let's go! No, just kidding guys, if you want to become a YouTuber, you gotta learn at least this, this, and this. Alright, so you need some basic video editing skills, and also some Photoshop skills if you want to have nice thumbnails for your videos, and also some acting and speaking skills if your channel requires it, I guess. But in all seriousness guys, these skills would really help in making your videos extra nice and top quality. So what you can do is outsource from your friends or people you work with. Because back then when you watch Niga Higa's videos, the how to be ninja and how to be gangsta, you'll notice that they're just ordinary videos. But after years went by, the quality of videos went up. People started putting effort into those videos just so that they would be noticed. And you'll notice that um, some of the channels right now rival even Hollywood production. It's just crazy. We need to up our quality. Now that you have the equipment that you need and you got the skills that you need to become a YouTuber, and you also have the equipment and the skills that you need to make it, you already said that. It's time for you to make your YouTube channel. Okay, so now that you have your channel, you'll notice that you have zero subscribers. Don't panic. It's normal. It happens to everyone. What you can do is you can create another YouTube channel and you can subscribe to yourself. And congratulations, you have your first subscriber. I did not do that. I swear. Next, you can repeat the process until you have 1 million subscribers. 
Or you can tell your friends to subscribe to you, that works too. Even if you have no videos yet, don't worry. If they're your true friends, they will subscribe and they will support you and not make fun of you at all. <laughs> now that you're starting up your YouTube channel, you gotta think of your channel branding. You gotta make a decision and stick to the look and the feel of your channel. So you have to decide on the font you wanna use, the primary colors that you wanna use on your thumbnails or your banner. So when someone goes to your channel, they know what to expect from the look and the feel that they're gonna get. This way, it's easier for them to recall and remember your channel when they go out and see, oh, it's a rainbow. I remember Isaiah's channel because he's like a rainbow of colors. No, no one says that, but at least you know what I'm talking about, right? So there it helps people recall your channel more and it just simply makes your channel look more legit when you have a specific look. Another part of starting up is you have to make sure you enforce an upload schedule. You have to upload during a certain day and a certain time. This way, when people see that you're consistent and faithful to your schedule, they too will be consistent in checking back whenever you have a new upload. And when they're consistent in checking back and watching your videos, that's more views for you. Okay, now that you have the equipment you need, and you know what kind of channel you want to have, and you have the skills that you need, and you've started up your YouTube channel, it's time to grow your channel. People love seeing different YouTubers meet to collaborate and making one video. Just like how we love seeing superheroes meet in one movie after we've seen their standalone movies, right? All right, so, yes, all right, so, yes, all right, so, mm, yes, all right, so. It helps build your fan base when you guys share your subscribers with each other by saying, oh, you gotta check this guy out, you gotta check this guy out because he's entertaining, we met up to make a video, and so you gotta check out his stuff. And so it's really helpful when you guys work together in climbing the YouTube ladder if there is one. If you're gonna collaborate with someone, just make sure it's with someone who's gonna be consistent in what they're doing, as promising as a YouTuber, and it's not someone who's just gonna drop what they're doing, and so the collaboration will become a success. Collaborating with other YouTubers will always be one of the best ways to grow your channel. And it's always great meeting other people who share the same passion with you. Remember, when collaborating with other YouTubers, sharing is caring. And caring is loving. And loving is painful when it's with the wrong person. Okay, for our recap, step one, get the equipment you need. Step two, what kind of YouTube channel do you want to have? Step three, learn the skills you need. Step four, create an upload schedule. And step five, collaborate. So these are the five tips that I have for you guys who are aspiring to become YouTubers now or in the future or whenever you feel like becoming a YouTuber. I will tell you guys, it's a lot of fun making these videos. But it's also not very easy. It's very tiring, but very fulfilling at the same time, being able to do what you love and talk about what you love. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope I was of help and maybe entertained you at the same time. If you have any questions, any comments, just leave them down below and I will respond as fast as I can. So see you next time, guys, and thanks for watching. Hey, guys, Isaiah here. Since YouTube FanFest is coming, I just want to invite all of you to join Globe's Ticket Giveaway to the Creator Academy happening May 25 at Blue Leaf Paranaque City. Also to the YouTube FanFest live show and meet and greet happening May 27 at the World Trade Center, Pasay City. Follow Globe on Twitter and check